Hey, it's Janice with paulsdreamandjoy.blogspot.com and I just took a black piece of paper 8.5 by 11, so it was like this and I put it in my trimmer and I cut it down the middle this way to make a tent fold card and here's the card that I want to tell you about today. All the cuts are from Paper Doll Dress Up the Rest in Peace tombstone is on page 52. It's right here. And that is cut at 3 inches. And all of the sizes I'm giving you are real dial size. I cut everything on real dial size. So that's 3 inches. The two trees are on the same page. They're right here. And they were cut once at three and three fourths and once at two inches and then I just trimmed off whatever hung off the card. The two ghosts are on page 49 right here and I cut them at one and a half and two and a half and then I got my black sharpie and I, the, I just went around the cuts. The Cricut makes little cuts right here and I just went around it with my Sharpie so they would show up and the same thing here. The Cricut makes little cuts here and I just traced it with my Sharpie so you could see them. This background textured orange paper is cut at 5 and 3 eighths by 4 and an eighth and that's from a color box stack. And this Halloween jack-o'-lantern paper is cut at 5 and a quarter by 4. That Halloween paper is actually from Target. I got two packs for a dollar. Well, they were a dollar a piece, and they each had eight sheets in it. So this is one pack. Let me turn it this way so you can see the whole thing. And half of them are glittered, and half of them are not. And the, um, let me see. Nope, the paper I used isn't in this pack. So here's the other pack. Same thing. Half of these are glittered, and half are not. And right down here is that jack o' lantern paper that I used. So these were eight sheets in a pack for a dollar, and I got um, two packs, two different packs from Target. And that's all I did with my card. Hope you guys will try to make it. If you do, please leave me a comment with the link, because I love going to your blogs and seeing what you're, you guys are up to. And like I said, I just put a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock in my trimmer like this, and then I cut it down the middle to make a tent card. And it just gives it something different. Here's the card I showed you the other day. You guys have a good day. I've got some more cards to show you. I'll give you a sneak peek of the next video I'm going to do. You ready? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'll do that video and I'll upload it in a little while. So you guys have a good day. Bye.